Hi everybody, Highlander here, Jimmy watching over my shoulder. It's funny that my camera recognizes this as a human face. Jai, well done, right? My camera says, hey, that it's, it, it, if, it, if it was on autofocus, it would try to focus on that. I'm wearing my, uh, my old Cajonas Deloro shirt. Go check out his channel uh, inside my own head. Anyway, something amazing has happened. Um, at least something that I find amazing. It's been around for a little while. Uh, I discovered it because the Ultimate 64 had a new firmware update. That in itself is not amazing. Uh, well, it is amazing, but it's not surprising because uh, little bug fixes and uh, and big bug fixes and, and, and big new features are coming out. But in a previous release, apparently, streaming was added. Now, I saw this in Daniel's video, uh, 64 Customs, uh, which is very interesting, and he tested with it, and I thought, wow, this conceptually is amazing. It, my, my enthusiasm is a little bit premature because it's, it's early stages, but it's early stages on the on the receiving side, basically, because the Ultima 64 now has the ability to stream video at 50 frames per second, and I'm guessing 60 frames when it's uh, in NTSC mode. I, I'm, I'm not really up to speed with that. I think, as far as, uh, as, as I know, uh, NTSC wasn't supported yet, but streaming at 50 frames per second, and it can stream audio. It can do that uh, over the network connection that the Ultima 64 has. Um, and it can stream both separately. So you can have a separate stream for video and you can have a separate stream for audio. And it works like a charm. It works very, very well. Now, I have to look at my screen here because our friend... Mr. M.F. Wieland has written the U64 streamer application, which is a version 1 beta, and it does a, a couple of things. It receives the streaming, uh, uh, the, the VIX uh, data stream, and displays it. You can capture an image, you can capture a, a piece of video, and you can stop and start the stream on the client side. And what it does not do is capture audio, but I'm sure that will be added later. Uh, also, what it does not do is uh, you cannot resize the screen and it cannot be captured inside OBS. Maybe Fraps can do it, maybe other tools can do it, but I cannot select the window. And it probably has, has something to do with DirectX not being supported in this application. But... None of that is a, is a real problem, but it is the reason why my enthusiasm is a little bit uh, that premature. If I wanted to now, I could start a Twitch stream, I could open U64 Streamer and stream Commodore 64 games directly to Twitch or to YouTube or whatever platform that I, uh, that I choose. It won't be off a real Commodore, it will be off an Ultimate 64, I know that, but I think that is pretty damn exciting because... The only other way that we've had before is either film the, the screen, as I've been doing, uh, work with a capture device somehow, uh, and capture either the Ultima 64's HDMI output or uh, the S-Video output generated by uh, the Commodore itself, uh, or use emulators, that and which, is, which aren't bad options. But the idea to have it directly off the Ultima 64, straight to the PC and straight to Twitch or YouTube. I think that's amazing. Show me one other 8-bit machine that is capable of doing that. I I think none. I mean this is this is the amazing platform that's been generated um, when the Ultimate 64 was made by Gideon. So I think it's amazing. Now I'm going to show you some of the steps that are uh, required to uh, get it running. It's very simple on the Ultima 64. On the PC, there's a there's a lot of variation. It depends on 
uh, how your firewall setup is, uh, because you're going to be streaming data uh, from an external source. So you'll 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 have to uh, manage uh, that, right? Set up some policies, set up some rules. I I I didn't have to do anything. Um, but you may, it depends on your operating system, depends on your software. So, but it's, I mean, it can't be difficult uh, because I managed to do it as well. So let's have a look at how to set up the Ultimate 64. Then let's uh, have a look at how to use uh, a U64 streamer version one beta. And uh, I'm going to try some Barnsley Badger streaming to my PC. Um, and, uh, uh, well, let's just have a look and, uh, uh see, uh, how it looks. So let's have a look at how to configure the ultimate 64 to stream to a PC. The most important thing of course, is, uh, to realize that the ultimate 64 has a, a network connection and that we have to connect it to the same network as the PC that we're streaming to. So, um, Let's plug this in first. Now, if your network is configured correctly, you can set up the Ultimate 64 uh, to use DHCP, so it'll get an IP address uh, from the uh, from the router or whatever you have that does the DHCP, or you can set a fixed address. We can have a look at that. If I uh, open up the menu, you can see that Net Zero has now uh, received. Uh, an IP address. Now this address uh, we can uh, forget immediately because we're not going to uh, need it to stream because we are going to need the IP address of the PC that we're going to stream to. And that's the address that we have to set up first. So if we go to the settings, oh, press F2 or press F2 and I go to data streams and I can set two options. One is to stream the VIC to an IP address and one to stream uh, the audio to an IP address. Next to the IP address, we also have to use a port. Uh, the Ultimate 64 uses a UDP to stream its data uh, to the other PC uh, over the internet protocol. UDP means uh, that there is no checking for lost packages and it's usually used when you stream something like video or stream uh, uh, audio data. Um, uh, at least in cases where it's not really important that every once in a while a, uh, a data packet gets lost, you can use UDP, which is used here as well. It allows you to stream large quantities of data uh, over a network. So uh, my PC's IP address um, is what you see, th sorry, is what you see there. And um, the port number is determined by the software that you use. So the uh, the test program, the U64 stream program uses these port numbers, but they may uh, vary in your case. Uh, and hopefully in the future, uh, more advanced ways of, uh, of streaming or collecting the stream data will exist and they might use different uh, port numbers. What is important to remember is that you may have a firewall installed on your PC that blocks or allows um, data to be sent to the PC over that port number. So you have to check for that. This is basically just an input field. You input um, the IP address uh, followed by a colon and then uh, the port number. As you can see, both uh, streams are separate. VIC, uh, which is audio and audio, which is sound of course. And they both stream to different uh, port numbers on the same um, IP address meaning that you can have two different pieces of software uh, listening to the different ports and handling the data. Currently, as it stands today, the uh, U64 stream software only reads uh, video data. So I've set up the audio data, but we won't be streaming that. Now, if you wanna actually start a stream, you have to uh, go in back into the menu um, and then press 
f5, and then you can uh, start either the VIX stream or the audio stream and stop them separately. So if I press enter here, uh, basically it just gives me a form where I can enter uh, an IP address, but it's taking the IP address that I saved earlier uh, to prevent me from having to type it in uh, every time I want to stream. So if I just press enter, uh, the stream is starting. So it's now doing a unicast stream to that single IP address. The Ultimate 64 can also do multicast. So if you type in a multicast address, it will cast the stream to several IP addresses. You can also do a broadcast if you wanted to, and that will send, um, or that will instruct your router uh, to send the, the data to all of the ports that it knows. Now this might be a little too much for your network, so um, I'm just doing unicast here, and that's the case that most people will likely be using. So uh, let's have a look at how this comes out on the PC. Let's um, look at what this looks like. Um, as you can see, uh, when you install, when you download uh, the U64 streamer, you get uh, something like this. When you first install, you don't get the capture directory. Um, this directory will hold any video that you capture uh, while streaming. Um, of course, this is limited. If I start U64 Streamer, uh, you can immediately see um, the screen as it is on uh, my Ultimate 64 at the moment. A couple of things to note. Um, this is just like a first effort uh, to, uh, to have something working. I cannot resize this window. Um, I cannot enter it as a, a capturable window in OBS. So um, obviously this is uh, limited and it's basically just a proof of concept, um, but that doesn't really matter. Um, what does matter is that I can now go to my uh, Ultimate 64. So this, what I'm doing now is done on the Ultimate. So if I go to Homebrew, and I go to Barnsley Badger and I say mount this thing and I want to see what's on there and I want to load Barnsley Badger as you can see it it's it streams at at about 50 frames per second so if I could do this I have to type run all done on the ultimate not on the PC so this is not emulation this is actually coming from uh, oop. from the ultimate itself. What you're hearing now is the sound coming from my monitor, so this is not coming from the PC. Um, but this would be amazing because if I had a program that would plug into OBS um, or, or whatever uh, you use to stream to Twitch or YouTube, you could stream directly off a Commodore 64. The, an Ultimate 64, but um, for all intents and purposes, the Ultimate 64 is basically just a Commodore 64, isn't it? Uh, I can capture an image. It will it will have done that. We can look at the folder, look at the captures. This is an image. Uh, I can also capture footage. If I start video capture, it will just film what I'm doing here. So if I start... I say start video capture, and there we go. Just do a little play of this. I haven't yet finished Barnsley Badger. Oh, I'm dying. So this is just just to show that it that it works, and it works very well. I mean, it's it's extremely smooth and 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 perfect, basically. Ooh, I want that. And I would imagine, this is just a, a version 1 beta. I, I would imagine that the next thing that, that is added to this uh, will be sound. I go down, and I go down, and I go down. So if I'm going to... I want to watch what I've done here. 
And it's made another AVI here. Let's look at the size of that. Oh, I can't see the size of that. Oh, I want to see details. Hold on. Details. Uh, is that it? Oh yeah, there we go. And that's the that's the video. So I, I can I can already include this in uh, in whatever I I wanna I wanna do. And this is amazing. This is good because this means I don't have to use an emulator or anything. I'm gonna stop the sound for a minute. Thank you very much. I don't have to use an emulator. I can just stream. I can stream this. I, I could start Twitch and stream this and stream directly off of Commodore 64 now. If that is not amazing, I don't know what is. Uh, so thank you for watching and I will see you later. Bye bye.